Hi guys, Dave's here. Last week I made a puzzle picture frame and I had three five by seven pictures on the back side in orientation just like I've got right here. Today I'm going to show you how I made the pockets for the pictures. So I started out with a rectangle and I just went to my draw the rectangle, left it square, and I made it slightly larger. The glass is five inches by seven inches and I made it a hundred thousandths bigger. Now you got a round cutter and it's not going to cut down into this square. So we, or so this, we need to add these fillets here so that we can put the glass in here and everything. So we go over to the create fillets tool, click on the dog bone fillet and I made my cut a 0.5. Then if you see you got the little check mark there, you, you click up there and it adds it to it. Just click in each corner that you want to add one to it. So this is the first step we need to do. Okay, the next step we need to do, we add these lines in here. And you're wondering why I've got two in here. Well, this line right here and I just made it with the rectangle tool with the little radius and used a quarter inch radius. Remember to uh, uh, round cutter will not cut squares, so we're gonna be cutting this little radius and everything. And I made it 4.5 by 6.5. And this is gonna be the cutout for our, our picture and everything. Then I made another one here and I made it a little bit smaller I made it 4.2 by 6.2 and, and why we doing this is because from this line to this line we want to pocket this part down we don't want to pocket you know we don't want to waste time pocketing the whole thing here and this way we can just pocket out the, on this small portion uh, so let me take you over to the toolpath side and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay now that we're on the toolpath side you see I've got pocket picture frame let me double click on it this is what I've done here I'm gonna go to a cut that is a quarter inch and I'm using a quarter inch cutter and I've got the outer vector selected and the inner vector selected remember this is the ones where we want to pocket at so I'm just using the raster on it and I click calculate and I click preview. Let me change the toolpath cutter to no fill and you can see it's cutting down a quarter inch deep right here. So that's what we do for it. Okay now let's do the profile of the inside of the picture frame and I go back over here and you see I've selected the vector these right here this is the ones that we're going to cut out and I'm cutting to a depth of 725 thousandths uh, my stock is 720 so I want to be able to it cut out just a little bit um, the end mill I'm going to use the same quarter inch end mill I'm going to be cutting on the inside left I mean we're going to be cutting on this side not on that side of it so we're going to be cutting on the inside left here and added some tabs to it and I made my tabs a half inch long and it's a hundred thousand thick and I'm creating 3d tabs and I also like to add ramps to the tool path so that way it's not plunging in all at one time um, this here's where you would add the tabs if you wanted to you just click on here and add the tabs I put two on each one of them which is is good enough for this then I click calculate and it's going to come up with a warning letting you know the tool will be cutting all the way through the material and that's okay and I'll preview it and as you can see it cuts them out okay that's all it is to it to to make the pockets for the pictures um, you know I done mine a quarter inch deep here if you don't want to do it that deep and you know measure the thickness of your glass your pitcher and your backer 
and then you can put some little hole downs on the back side but this is what I made mine for uh, if you want to see the the large puzzle picture frame I'll have a link at the end of the video for it I hope I hope somebody learned something from this and as always thanks for watching guys